is going on, Swayze gang? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. In today's episode, we're doing a small little mod on the 2020 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. <laughs> I have talked about this complaint in previous videos, specifically these seven things I hate about my Hellcat, and that is this piano black plastic taillight divider. Now, if you guys take a look, you can see that there are micro scratches all across this surface. It's really hard to get it on camera, but let me try to zoom in here so you guys can check it out. Um, there are just these little scratches for no apparent reason. I've never really touched my keys up here. My fingernails never really touch this surface. They touch this button up here. And then I just use my hand to open up the trunk. So I'm not really quite sure how these scratches showed up here. But regardless, it is frustrating that over time, this thing has really gotten scuffed up. If you guys recall, in a previous video, I mentioned that after just about a week of ownership, I came out to the car and saw scratches already on that surface. So, in today's video, we're going to remedy that issue. And we're going to do that with this. Now, what is this, you ask? Well, this is what I'm talking about. And this is what I'm talking about. It is a taillight divider a decal. Don't mind the spatula over here. Got a lot of paint supplies in this area, but this is what it is. I actually custom designed this. Well, not me, but I ordered it custom made. Um, it's got the Challenger body style and the SRT logo down here. So there's no confusing that this is not a Hellcat. And then you've got this kind of hexagon shape in the back. Uh, but that is what's going to be going on on the back of the Challenger. I will put a link in the description below so you guys can check out exactly where and from who I purchased this product from. But without further ado, let's get started with this installation. All right, now the first thing we're gonna obviously do is prep the surface by removing the Dodge emblem. And to do that, I'm actually gonna be utilizing a blow dryer. Now you can definitely use a heat gun if you have it, but uh, you make do with what you have. So let's get started. Okay, now I'm just going to clean the surface and get it ready for the decal. I'm gonna use a mixture of rubbing alcohol and some water. I'm actually gonna use this prep spray that I have left over from last time from Lux Auto Concepts, but it's about two parts distilled H2O to one part isopropyl alcohol. Okay, now I hate to admit that the instructions for the product I ordered aren't very good, so I'm actually going to rely on the video I did for my scat pack and the instructions that I followed for that installation, which would mean I would take this bottom layer and I'm going to cut out part of this white border and do a wet application on the tail light divider. The following step will be a dry application and then the last layer, which is the last step, that will be a wet application as well. So I'm going to use the same prep spray and wet this surface and this surface and then apply the very first layer. Okay, so we've got this cut out. Now I would pay attention to the top and bottom because there is a certain shape to it. So if you do it you know, this way, you're gonna have an upside down logo. So make sure you pay attention to that when you're doing the installation. Also another thing to note is I would put a marker or a piece of masking tape or something to mark the midpoint so that you know how to align it best and it's not crooked left or right. Okay, now let's get this area really wet with that prep spray. Okay, now that it's somewhat sitting in the right position, you're gonna start with the middle and move outward so that all of the water and air bubbles push out. Now it's the moment of truth to see if I put it on crooked. I'm going to start peeling back this white backing. Okay. 
Okay, at first glance, I honestly don't think it looks too bad. Now let me push down some of the pieces that have lifted and then we'll take a final look. Okay, now we'll quickly take a hair dryer to it to make sure it adheres very well and all of the water has evaporated and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, next step is layer number two and just like I did in the last video because there's not really a good instruction manual for this one, we're gonna do this as a dry application. So I think this is arguably the hardest layer to do because it's very hard to peel it on and off several times. You only really get one shot. So we're gonna again trim around, mark the center point, and then Godspeed. I wanted to quickly give you two pieces of advice. The first is I'm only trimming the left and the right side. I'm leaving the top actually just as it was produced because I feel like that is probably the straightest line that I can line up with this plastic trim up here and that way I know exactly how tall it is and this edge is just thick enough that you're going to still cover the plastic over here. So that's my first piece of advice. The second is in order to find the midpoint since there's not really a good way of telling, there's actually a little bit of a grid pattern to the back of this decal. And so I counted and it's actually 39 boxes and I just took that in half, so 19 and a half, and I tore a little notch over here. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but that is the midpoint as I'm applying it, I'm going to follow the trunk release button and that's going to be the center of this decal. Same thing as the first layer, start at the center and move outwards. I recommend using your hands first before you use the squeegee because there's a pattern to that first layer. Now for the squeegee. Okay, let's peel off this backing and see what it looks like. Okay, now that we've got it off, let's take a look at what it looks like. Um, it's not perfect. I think that has to do with the bottom layer actually being a little bit wider than the top layer. So you can see the bottom kind of peeking through over in this section on the left side and the right side. So it has really nothing to do with how I centered it because in either way, it's sticking out. So I might have to take a razor blade to trim this section. But other than that, it's pretty good. There are a few little air bubbles that I'm actually going to use my hand to kind of push out and then use the squeegee on top of that, but probably one of the better installations that I've done. So layer number two is now done. All right, boys and girls, now we are on to the third and final layer. Uh, the first thing I'm actually going to do is cut out some of this white space so I can get directly to the sticker. And then instead of using the prep spray, which I used earlier, I'm going to use this leftover decal spray that I had from the last installation. Now I'm just using it because I have it, but if all you have is rubbing alcohol and water mixture, you should be fine using that on this final layer as well. All right, here's the third and final layer. Same technique, push down the middle and push the water out. Okay, moment of truth. All right, here it is, boys and girls. I absolutely love how it turned out. It looks way better than I even expected it to look, and I'm the one that sent in the design. I am going to quickly wipe this area down because it's still a little bit wet. I'm actually going to put the blow dryer to it to make sure this area sticks really well to the second layer. Uh, this side was actually starting to come up with the backing. So we're gonna do that and regroup in just a second. Alrighty, boys and girls, there you have it. There is the taillight divider decal that I have been hyping up so much. Uh, I absolutely love how it turned out. It looks exactly how I wanted it designed. Now, the reason I chose yellow is, well, if you guys are a subscriber or follower of the channel, you will know that my car's color themes are Hellraisin and yellow. And there's gonna be more of that in the future. So 
Talking about this installation, now if you guys look at the link in the description below, you can see that I ordered it off of Etsy. The reason I didn't order it off of Lux Auto Concepts this time is because they have since cracked down on some of the copyright issues. So you can't choose Challenger, you can't choose Hellcat, you can't put really anything that's related to Dodge products. And so you can make up a name, so I could have put Schwazy, but I wanted something a little bit different and not just like my channel name. And so I started doing some digging and I found this individual on Etsy who produces these for you. Now a couple comments. The installation is not hard. Uh, it's actually pretty easy, but that being said, it is actually hard to get 100% perfect. So if you are a perfectionist, this is kind of a difficult project because as you can see, it's not a perfect installation. And uh, for me, you know, I'm a perfectionist, so this is gonna be an eyesore for me and I'm always gonna see this. Nobody else is gonna see that little dot, but I will. And uh, you know, these little edges sticking out, I'm gonna have to trim over time. We'll see how annoying they get. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is because I don't wanna take a razor blade to this plastic. It's scuffed with my nails. I can't imagine a razor blade. The second comment I wanna make is, this installation went just as well as the Lux Auto Concepts, if not a little bit better. Not sure if that's because I have experience doing this now or if maybe the vinyl is a little bit better material, but it didn't take as much time to get the air bubbles out and I didn't notice as many air bubbles to begin with. The one thing I will say is the instructions are just not very detailed. Uh, they don't really provide you much information, so that's why I referenced my last video uh, and I'm making this installation video for you so you guys can utilize that for your installation. It's not rocket science, it's pretty easy, but there are a few different types of ways you can install it. Anyways, with that being said, we are going to finish off today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this little installation. Nothing crazy, but it's something I definitely recommend because this material just scratches like crazy and this will help protect it and adds a cool little touch to the rear end. If this is your guys' first time checking out the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay on top of all of the weekly videos. The Ford Bronco is in production and will hopefully be in my hands in the next month or two, so stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram or TikTok at Schwazy underscore, make sure you do so. And until next time, boys and girls, stay Schwazy, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.